Am I the a hole for hiding my family wealth from my boyfriend? So, I, F17, have been dating my boyfriend Mike, M16, for about three months now. We're both juniors in high school, and everything has been going really well between us. We met through mutual friends about eight months ago and hit it off quickly. He's funny, kind, and down to earth. We have an amazing relationship, but our financial situations are different. My family is pretty well off. Not rich rich, no mansions, yachts, etc., but we live in a nice house, take one two vacations per year, and I don't really have to stress about money. I only work just so I'm not sitting at home doing nothing. That being said, I've always been taught not to flaunt it nor bring it up. We drive normal cars and live a fairly average lifestyle, even if we have more savings than others. I never talk about money with people. Mike's family doesn't have as much. He's mentioned how they struggle sometimes to pay bills and how they have to budget for everything. Because of this, he's made a few comments about rich kids being spoiled or out of touch, which is why I didn't bring up my family situation. I didn't want him to see me differently or feel awkward about the differences between us. I don't care what his financial situation is. I love him anyway. He's seen my house and knows my parents run a business but he doesn't know about all my parents' assets which make a lot more money and is what keeps us comfortable. So he doesn't know how much we really have. Well, recently, Mike and I had dinner with my family along with cousins. We all sat down and talked about traveling in general, and one of my cousins mentioned a vacation home my parents had. She was talking about the cabin we had in the mountains. Our family loves camping and hiking so we vacation there sometimes. Mike went quiet, but I could tell something was up. Later, when we were alone, he asked why I never told him that my family had so much money. I tried to explain that it wasn't something I thought was important, and I didn't want him to feel weird about it. Besides, he knew I was more well off than him. He just didn't know the full extent. That's when he got a bit upset and said something that caught me off guard. He mentioned how I could have helped him out with some of the things he's been struggling with financially, like gas money or when his car needed repairs a few months ago. He said that he was not asking for handouts, but he said it feels like I was hiding something from him when I could have made things easier. I told him I didn't want to make things awkward between us by offering money, and I didn't think it was my place to get involved with his finances. But now, he says it feels like I wasn't being honest and that maybe I don't trust him enough to share that part of my life. Over the next few weeks Mike started getting a little invasive. He looked up my house on Zillow and was shocked at the value. Mike showed me his screen and was upset that he didn't know how rich we were. He also started looking up my family members on social media sites to see what they do and how rich they are. Cousins, uncles, aunts. I got really mad and told him I didn't appreciate him digging through my family life and my finances are not his business. I asked him to stop being weird. Mike then responded he was just trying to fully understand what my lifestyle is like. But I think he's going completely off the rails. I didn't mean for it to turn into such a big deal. I was just trying to avoid making him feel uncomfortable or like he was less than me. I also believed my family finances are irrelevant. But now I'm wondering if I should have been more open from the start? Am I the a hole? Update 1. So when I made the original post it was a few days after our argument. I wasn't going to post an update but lots of people wanted one and stuff actually happened so here we go. Yesterday, I called Mike and asked if we could meet up for coffee to discuss what to do next. He agreed. As we talked, I explained my family's finances are private, and it was not my business to tell other people. The money isn't even technically mine it's my parents. This is why I didn't tell him. Mike didn't take this very well. He asked me how I could just watch him struggle for months and not do anything how I pretended to feel bad for him when I didn't even understand how bad his life was. I responded that I did feel bad and I have been supportive. I tried to get him a job at my parents' grocery store but he didn't like it so he refused. I would always give rides to him since gas was expensive. I offered gas money whenever he did drive me but he always refused since he wanted to pay for me. Even just emotionally, I was trying to be as supportive as I could while he was stressed. I acknowledge that I don't understand how hard his life is because I've never lived it but I've done my best to be supportive emotionally. Mike just dismissed all of that and said that wasn't the point. He said that for him, the money wasn't the issue, it was trust. He felt that I had kept something significant from him, and he's wondering what else I was hiding. He said that he wasn't asking for handouts, but knowing I had the means to help him but chose not to make him feel unsupported. Mike explained he felt like there was a huge gap between us now and he will never be equal to me. He told me there was no reason for me to hide such a big secret from him. At this point I got angry. I corrected him, saying he was asking for handouts. I mentioned our previous conversation of how he said that I could have helped with his car and gas. I explained the money he so desperately wanted wasn't even mine, it's my family's. 
I told him that he wasn't entitled to the money my parents spent over two decades earning. I couldn't just bail him out of whatever problems he has with money. I went back to how I did support him just not financially. I'm ashamed to admit that I did kind of lose my cool here and almost started yelling. After that I calmed down and explained that I would never shame him for his struggles. My family never has either. They love him. We don't care about how much money someone has dot. We talked for some more but I eventually told him I wanted to break up. It wasn't because he was upset I hid my wealth, but it was for digging into my family members' lives. I told him that it was extremely invasive and I couldn't forgive that and I couldn't feel comfortable around someone who would do that. It was a breach of trust for me. Mike also told me he wanted to break up since he didn't feel comfortable in relationship where the financial gap is so big, and that our lives were just too different. We ended the conversation and parted ways. The good thing is he goes to a different school so I won't be seeing him around. Dot. Part of me feels sad, since I do love him. It was my first relationship and I wanted it to work. But I also feel relieved because I wasn't sure if I could take whatever Mike would do if I stayed. I really didn't like him snooping in my family's lives. I'm wondering if I made a mistake ending the relationship now and it really really sucks. Was I too harsh? I'm not even sure. I don't think I'll be dating anytime soon. I'm not too eager now. Dot. And just to be clear, I don't hate Mike. I do think that he probably just never saw money like ours or that he was just shocked in general. And I get that he is 16 and I'm sure he will grow out of this mentality. I hope he does have a better life but I can't continue with him. I don't like that he tried to dig in my family members' lives. Dot. Update 2. I also wanted to clarify some things. A lot of people were asking about the car. Mike's car is old and used, and it was gifted to him by his uncle since he doesn't use it anymore. It's about 8 years old. Mike didn't buy the car. Dot. Mike doesn't know the true value of my parents' money. That's why he was digging around. It seems like people on Reddit thought that I was perceived middle class or poor. I never was. Mike and others knew I lived a life that was well off. I just never talked about money that's all. Mike does not know about my parents' other assets. He started thinking we had more money than he thought because he found out about the vacation home. That's why he tried digging through my family's information. He still doesn't even know close to anything since my parents keep their assets secret. Even I don't know them. People don't start digging into you until you give them a reason to dot. Okay so apparently 8 years is not old for a car. Sorry I don't know how cars work. But it's been heavily used anyway.